Today what we're going to do, I'm going to share a few tips on some things that I did that you can do too that will help you to get those scores up the fastest. It's what helped me bring my score from a 573 to a 780 in guess how long? Six months. I mean, that's pretty good time. And you know what the good part about this is? You don't have to pay anybody else to do this. You can do it yourself. Whatever a credit repair company can do, you can do too. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. Super excited today and if you are new here, First of all, let me tell you, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by, but don't just be a stranger. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Why? Because here we go, everywhere in life together. And all we do is win. So, I just wanna chat with you guys today. We have not talked credit in a while. How y'all doing out there? Anybody who's ever watched my credit video, drop it down in the comments. Let me know if it's helped you. Let me know if you were able to increase your scores at all. Let me know how you doing. Check in, let's check in. The reason I feel like it's so important for us to have this conversation right now, because you know what? It's that time of year. Yes, it is tax season, and Uncle Joe didn't cut us some more stimulus checks. We got child tax credits coming. We got unemployment forgiveness that's going on, which means what? More money in our pocket. So my question for you today is, what are you going to do with it? What you going to do with all this money that you got? I got an idea. Just, just stick with me. Just hear me out. Hear me out. How about we use these extra funds? to fix our credit. Come on now, we can do it like, like, ain't that a good idea? I think it's a good idea. You think it is? Drop it in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Even if you are not at the place right now where you like wanna buy a house or you already own a house or you like, I'm not worried about it, guess what? Having excellent credit gives you leverage to get almost anything you want in life, all right? Credit is the answer. <laughs> so guess what? We gonna answer the call today and we gonna make sure that you are on the right side of the phone, all right? Before we go too deep though, let me uh, let me hit the brakes real quick and let you know I am not a credit repair specialist. I am nothing in the finance world, okay? I am just a wonderful person like yourself who hit some hard times in life, had some jacked up credit. I went on to Google University, graduated in credit, <laughs> and I fixed my credit myself. And I got those scores up. I was able to shave $500 off of my mortgage for my brand new four bedroom, three bathroom house that I bought. Just recently posted a tour, if you have not seen it, is up here somewhere. I think on that side. All right, check it out. So I'm basically just showing people the things that I've done in hopes that it will help you too. Now if you're looking for the works and magic and firework and stuff like that, you might wanna catch another video because this is not where it's at. This is just going to show you what you need to do, the work you need to put in to get it done. If y'all ready, let's go. So when it comes to raising those scores fast, you can get those scores up quickly. I will tell you that. However, I want you to know, going in before we even get started is a process. Building credit is a process, it takes time. I know we are living in this, I want it now, quick, what they call it, a popcorn, um, a microwave generation. <laughs> we living in this fast, I want it done and I want it now type of generation. And in this instance, with fixing our credit, we can get it done fast to an extent. However, I do want you to know that it's a process, all right? I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna come on here and just tell you whatever you wanna hear to make you wanna subscribe to the channel like a lot of people do. I'm telling you the truth, okay? Credit equals time. So, we ready to start fixing our credit, right? I mean, how do you know where to start? The first place you need to start with is obtaining your credit report. Now, I went into depth about all of this stuff in my previous credit video where I kind of walked you guys exactly through what I did, where I went, all of that good stuff. If you want to see the details, then make sure you check out that video. But I'm just gonna kind of, you know, um, summarize really quickly just for those of you that are new here and just don't know. So what you need to first do is get your credit report and there are three credit bureaus, okay? There's TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. You need all three credit reports. Why? Because 
Somebody may report to Equifax, but not report to TransUnion. If you only get TransUnion credit report, you won't know that it's on Equifax. And then you go and you try to buy your house and they look at all three scores and you're like, well, these were good, but I didn't know about that one. So just make sure you get your credit report from all three credit bureaus. Now, there's many places you can get your credit reports, such as annualcreditreport.com, you can go to Credit Sesame, Credit Wise, Credit Karma. Like, just go to Google, type in free credit report, and you will get a list of places that you can get it, okay? So once I got my credit report, kind of looked at everything, there are two areas that I focused on first that got my scores up pretty quickly. And the first is credit utilization. For those of you out there that may not know what that means, if you have two credit cards and one is 2,000, one is 3,000, you have a total of $5,000 available. That's your total credit available. Now, if you use all $5,000, your credit utilization is 100%. You have used 100% of what's available. Now, that's not good, okay? I was that person that used 100% and my score was in the 500s because of it. So, I'm gonna give you the magic number. The magic number is 10. Y'all got it? <laughs> so the number that you need to remember when it comes to credit card usage, credit utilization, is 10%. You do not want to use more than 10% of your credit that is available. So. For instance, with that same situation, $5,000, 10% of that is $500. Now, you don't want to be right at 10%. You want to be on the bottom, on, on the under half of the 10%, okay? Which means I don't care if you get it to $499.99. As long as you're on the other side, it will look pretty good, okay? Now, it's even better if you get in that one to 5%, but 10 is really the magic number that we're gonna focus on right now. Even if you are not able to get it to 10%, if you had a 100% usage, even getting it to 50% will help your scores. And like I said, if we have some extra money that's floating around right now, make sure you are using it towards paying these things down because you will see a drastic improvement. When I got my credit card usage down to, I think I did it to about 5%. My score went up like maybe 100 points. So that's why I'm saying that alone can make your score skyrocket. Now there's no other way around this. You cannot go and pray it away. You can't think it away. You can't, you know, manifest it away. You have to pay this stuff off. I mean, you got this money from these people. You used it. You got to pay it back. So that's one of the areas you can focus on first. So now that we got that credit utilization down, and we saw those scores rise. Now the next thing I did was focus on my collections. If you have any collections on your credit report, let me tell you one thing, that will tank your score. Like one collection can bring your score down by over 100 points, okay? So this is going to be very important for you to tackle. Now for me, I had maybe six or seven collections on my credit report. Now uh they were medical collections and it is said that with a new scoring system that's supposed to be out there people are not looking at your medical collections it is not affecting your score however in my case when i went to get in my house those people saw those beautiful collections on my credit report and was like eh -eh. okay so i had to take care of that now something i want you to know going in when you're dealing with these collections do not pay them the full price. You do not have to pay the full price for the collection. You know why? Because whoever the original lender is, or whatever the situation is, they more than likely wrote that off, okay? They wrote off whatever that was that you owed, and then they sold it to another company. So that company that bought it did not buy it at the full price. They bought it for pennies on the dollar, which means that of course they're going to try to make you pay full price because that's how they make their money. But do not pay that full price on that thing, okay? So what you want to do is settle. 
and you don't want to just settle you want to settle for deletion we'll get to the deletion part in a second but when you settle the numbers that you want here i'm gonna give you some more magic numbers okay is 40 to 60 percent because a lot of people ask me monique um how much is okay to settle for that's a good area for you to try to settle for now one time i did end up paying 80 percent on something and that's because i just wanted it off quickly i didn't have the time i'm a part of that generation that wants it now okay i didn't have the time to sit there and play hardball all that type of stuff but when you do call these collection companies some of them will play hardball with you because they feel like you're reaching out to them you really need them you're just gonna have to do whatever they want however i want you to know one thing without you paying that collection they don't make no money so just as much as they say you need them they need you because they don't make money if you don't pay okay so keep that in mind know that you are important in this situation as well now there are ways for you to get collections removed without even having to pay for it and that's through disputing i disputed one of my collections it was completely removed i did not have to worry about paying it now i disputed online which I know, I know a lot of y'all out there freaking out because you heard me say online. So many people say you do not do it online, but I can only share with you guys my experience. I hate to come and tell you other people's experience because I don't know about it. I can't talk about it. But from my experience, I disputed online and it worked for one of my collections. Now, if I did it the other way, which everybody says you need to write letters and send it to the credit bureaus, if I did it that way, then maybe I would have gotten more taken off. And there's so many reasons behind why they say you should write the letters that I won't even get into at this point. But I disputed online. I got one removed. I also talked more in detail about that process. If you guys want to check that out, video should be here. I actually shared one of the phone calls that I had with one of the collection agencies and like i said i ain't had time to play with these people i was like all right good that works let's get it all right so back to settling now when you settle of course you want to try to aim for the lower end of the stick which is the 40 percent or even less shoot if you could get it lower than that then wonderful for you but uh those are the numbers that i think are great for you to kind of focus on when you're trying to settle with these collection agencies now i mentioned something earlier a deletion if you settle and you pay that settlement with that collection agency the only thing and you do not ask for a deletion the only thing they are going to do is put paid now having a collection that just says paid on your credit report is not going to help you okay you have to get that thing removed so that's why i said when you talk to these collection agencies ask to settle for a deletion they have to remove it from your report for it to raise that score so when you do talk to them and if they do agree and they're like yeah you know we'll do the deletion we'll remove it then make sure you get that in writing you should now this is a question that a lot of people ask me as well should i get the letter before i pay and the simple answer to that is yes make sure you get the letter before you pay and why because although they told you over the phone that yes we'll delete it what happens if they don't then what are you going to do how do you have the proof that they said they would so that's why getting that in writing is really important when i paid a collection agency that agreed to remove it and even sent me the letter guess what they still didn't remove it so guess what i ended up having to do i had to dispute that with the credit bureau and then when they asked did i have proof or whatever the question was they asked i submitted the letter that they sent and guess what happened they removed it so that's why that's really important that you get that now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i got a letter after the fact i asked them for one they was like you have to pay first they was not budging on that again at that time i was looking to get my house in the next month or two i didn't have time to play so i went along with they way okay so i got it afterwards and that's just that all right <laughs> but my advice is to get it before if you can so these two things alone made my score jump up so much 
like I don't know the exact numbers but I think I might have hit over 700 on my credit score at this point by just doing those two things and that's why again I'm stressing with us having any kind of extra funds let's use that towards these things okay let's use that towards paying down any debt that we have so that we could be in a better credit situation because in many cases credit is better than having money okay credit will take you further than the cash you have on hand can all right you have to sacrifice for about for those six months i didn't go anywhere i didn't buy anything i just focused my time and energy on paying off and fixing my credit and that's why right now i'm sitting in my beautiful house that i absolutely love all right so now one more thing that i want to mention that you can do that will help you out with getting those scores up quickly is taking care of any late payment your payment history impacts your credit score by 35 percent that's one of the biggest things that make up your credit score your payment history so if you have a late payment one, just one late payment can drop your score by 180 points. That's a lot of points. So that's why I'm saying, I'm trying to tell you the things that will get your score up quickly. If this is still an active account that you have that you're late on, that means it's still open. They did not close the account. You're gonna have to pay to make that account current, okay? No way around it. But what you can do, call the creditor call the lender whoever this is call the people and talk to them a lot of times we avoid these phone calls we don't like talking to creditors when they're calling because we just don't want to deal with it we're trying to avoid it we thinking that it will just make it go away but it won't it will only make the situation worse so call them talk to them i mean right now so many people are in extenuating circumstances COVID is real COVID is going on so that could have impacted you just explain your situation explain to them why you relate ask them if you pay and make that current can they please remove those late payments from your credit report a lot of people are willing to work with you but you gotta call and talk to them that's the thing we're not doing is talking how can you know what you can get if you don't ask now if this is a closed account that still have the late payments on there you can still try to write a goodwill letter to that company and explain again the situation talk to them tell them the situation that's going on and ask them to remove those late payments from your credit report call those companies try to set something up and get that taken care of so that you could get that credit score to the point that you need so that you could do whatever you want you may not like i said you may not want to help but you may want to stop having to put a down payment down to get your, your utilities on in your apartment or in your current house. You may not want to put another down payment down when you want to open up a line and, and get a cell phone. All right, so that's why I'm telling you guys these things because credit is power. Having good credit gives you a lot of power, you know, and it puts you in better situations. So we're trying to get you in those situations, all right? That's pretty much all of the tips that I wanted to share with you guys today to kind of get you to focus on right now while we have a lot of money coming in so that we can make sure we're taking care of these things so that we can make sure we get ourselves in a better place uh credit wise all right those are again get your credit utilization down to less than 10 percent the second thing you want to do remove those collections from off of your report settle for deletion okay and the last thing we want to do is remove those late payments if you can focus on those three things, get those things paid, get those things taken care of, your score will go up. If it's up, then it's up, all right? <laughs> it will go up. Again, there is no magic. We can't blank it away. We can't thank it away. We can't do nothing other than pay <laughs> it away, okay? Like I said, sometimes writing letters, disputing things, that'll work, that'll get it all sometimes, all right? But for the most part, you're gonna have to Pay the pipe. You're going to have to pay. All right. I think that's enough, y'all. I've been talking enough. Hopefully this helps you guys. Drop it down in the comments and let me know if you found this helpful at all. You know, I mean, there's nothing new to credit. This is what you got to do. Anybody video you go to, they're going to tell you pretty much the same things because this is what fixing credit is all about. So again, if you are new here and have not subscribed, what you waiting for? You know what? I'm going to wait. I'll wait.
Did you do it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button and join the family. We talk health, we talk wealth, we talk YouTube, family, just lifestyle. We do it all. And all we do is win. I want you to be a part of that winning team, all right, guys? So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, in the words of my husband, because he's not here, we are out. <laughs> See you later, guys. Peace.